What if I told you that even if you bought an expensive camera like the Canon R6 Mark II that has amazing autofocus features in video mode, you can still make a mistake that slows down your autofocus speed. So let me show you what you need to set up on your camera, but also unveil a small secret that nobody talks about, which really makes you feel a difference when using autofocus on video so you can really enjoy using your Canon R6 Mark II. Take a look at the before and after with the same camera and the same lens just by changing some simple settings that I'm gonna show you. After applying them, the autofocus speed improved a lot. I think the difference is quite noticeable as you can see for yourself. The lens that I used for this test was the Canon RF 24-70 f2.8. So make sure your Canon R6 Mark II is in video mode. This is very important. Go into the menu, choose the AF section and go to page two. From here, you'll need to choose movie servo AF speed, then go down and enter AF speed from here. Now, if you didn't change this setting at all, it should be on zero, but it can happen that by mistake, you changed it to slow minus one, slow minus two, or even slower. So use the dial and push this setting to fast plus two. Press set and this will make sure that the transition time between point A and point B is the fastest possible when autofocusing. And here is some important info. You see right here it says enabled. This is because I'm using an RF lens. But sadly if you attach an EF lens with the adapter this setting is not available. And you'll see this message with incompatible lens. Now the next setting you need to change on page 2 is the movie servo AF tracking sensibility. You need to bring it to the maximum right at plus 3. But there is one more thing to know. Like I said, you need an RF lens, but here's the catch. Here's the mistake you're probably making without knowing it. There are two types of RF lenses with STM motors and USM motors. STM stands for a stepping motor and USM stands for ultrasonic motor. In order to have the fastest autofocus on video, you need to know which one to choose. And I'm gonna be honest, this also depends on your budget. And while the STM is meant to be more smooth in the focusing transitions, the USM lenses are much faster and smooth when it comes to autofocus on video. Both types of motors are quiet, so you don't have to worry about this. Now, just to show you a quick comparison in video mode, this is the RF 35mm f1.8, a lens that I own, it's very good for photos, I like it but it has an SDM motor. So take a look at this autofocus test on video side by side with the RF 24 to 70 2.8. I also set the 35 millimeters to f 2.8, but as you can see, the 24 to 70 f 2.8 is much, much faster when focusing between point A and point B. Also the settings that I explained earlier are applied for both of the lenses. So the USM beats the SDM which is one thing to remember if you're shooting video, if you're doing YouTube, or if you're a vlogger and you need fast autofocus. And before you say, yeah, but the RF 35mm lens is also a macro lens and this is why it's slower, all I can say is that I tested many STM lenses and they were all slow on the video side compared to a USM lens. So keep this in mind and choose the right type of RF lens for your video project. USM lenses are more expensive, but in the long run, it's worth it. Now, when it comes to photography, STM and USM lenses are both focusing very fast. As you can see in this test, the same 35mm 1.8 STM has a fast and reliable autofocus in photo mode. Now, STM lenses on the other side are usually more budget friendly. A fixed lens like the RF 35 1.8 costs 400 US dollars, but the RF 24 to 70 f 2.8 cost 2200 US dollars. But if you pay $2500 for a brand new Canon R6 Mark II and you want to shoot video, then you probably want to know more about the RF 24 to 70 2.8. I simply love this lens. Here's a video where I compare it to the older EF version. I'm Christy, catch you in the next one.